In this video, I'll show you the quickest and easiest way to transfer files over SSH in Windows. I'll also show you how to do it through the command line interface as well, meaning it can be done on any operating system. Firstly, we'll start off with Windows as this will be relevant to the majority of people. What you're going to want to do is download a program called WinSCP. And once you're inside, you can log into this as if you're connecting through SSH. So I'm just going to enter in my SSH details now. And you can select either SFTP or SCP. Either one of these will work. And once you're logged in, that's it. You can just drag and drop files straight into the directories that you want. You can even go to the root or I'm just going to stay in my home directory for now. I'm just going to open up a test file that I can quickly put in here. So here we got my test file and I'm just going to drag and drop that in. The good thing about this application is you can even open up and view files. So I've got a few words in here uh, in my test file that you can see here. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all there is to WinSCP. It's a very useful program. So if you're not on Windows and you don't have access to a program like that, then I'm going to show you now how you can do it through the command line. So what you want to do is open up a program that you can SSH into your device with. In my case, it's PuTTY. And I'm just going to enter the same details in that I did before to connect. Enter my username and my password. Just going to check where we are now. We're in my home directory. So if I do a list, we shall see the file, uh, the test file that's in there from before. I'm just going to create a new test file. There we can see new test.file. And what you're going to want to do now is enter in the following command. Bear in mind, you have to be in the directory where the file is that you want to transfer to another device over SSH. So now the command that we need to run is SCP file that we're going to be transferring and then username of remote server at IP address colon forward slash and then the remote or the directory on the other end where you want to place this file. So in my case, I'm gonna do home, pi, and test folder that you can see I've just created above. And I'm gonna hit enter. Enter my password. And you'll see that it's transferred the file 100%. And now if we CD test folder and do an LS, we can see that our file is now in that folder. So in my case, because I don't have two SSH servers set up on my network, I've just SSH to myself again and placed the file in a different folder. But this exact same concept will work if you're trying to transfer the file to a remote host. That's it for me guys. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.